not the case anymore. Come with me over to look at the new 2017 Honda Ridgeline. In black, quite fancy. You got the black trim here. Come with me to the side. This is a fun fact. See this cut line right here? It's like a regular pickup truck. Completely useless. It does absolutely nothing. It's a unibody pickup truck. Why would you want a unibody pickup truck? A couple of good reasons. One, this has an independent rear suspension, and that unibody design really does good things for both ride and handling. And uh, you also have, just so you know, underneath the hood, a 3.5 liter V6 putting out, they don't say how many horses, but uh, we'll just guess 280 because it's the same uh, engine that's in the Honda Pilot. It's uh, going to be an interesting dynamic package. It also sends power to the ground via an all-wheel drive system with torque vectoring abilities in the rear. Um, so that certainly has advantages that uh, we will uh, illuminate in another video. Uh, oh, and one last thing about the new Ridgeline, it can be had in front wheel drive, which will be great for maximum fuel economy. In fact, Honda's saying that uh, with this powertrain combination, it's going to be the quickest accelerating and most efficient mid-size pickup truck you can buy, assuming you classify this as a mid-size, which they do. <laughs> Honda claims that the Ridgeline will have the largest interior of any mid-size pickup truck, and uh, I don't have my measuring tape to verify that. Maybe I'll just borrow one from all those guys that are engaging in corporate espionage around the auto show. But I do know that I fit pretty darn well back here. And here's a fun thing. The rear seats flip up with the pull of this lever. You have a pretty large area to work with, but you also can store stuff under here. They say you can fit a golf bag underneath. What am I doing? Just pull the lever. That was pretty easy. When it comes to features, the Ridgeline can be outfitted with leather interior, three-zone automatic climate control, uh, an eight-inch screen with Android Auto and Apple's CarPlay, and even Honda Sensing, which has lane keep assist and dynamic cruise control. Really, the only thing missing on the option sheet is a 360 camera system, which uh, I will scream at our good friend Davis Adams over at Honda to implement into the car at some point in the future. Hey, Davis, do we have a 360 camera uh, system on the future? Do we have a what? A 360 camera system in the future? Uh, so, so can't tell you too much about future products, but there's not a 360 camera system in this particular truck yet. No. That sounds like a no. <laughs> like a good mullet, the party happens in the back, and the Ridgeline has a number of features that you will just not find on any other pickup truck. For example, the dual action tailgate, which drops down like a normal tailgate, but if you reach in here and pull out, it also rotates out. So if you have an arm filled with boxes, you can just place them in with any, without any issues. Another really cool thing that's a Ridgeline specific detail, this baby. That is an in-bed trunk, and it's vast. In fact, I'll bet I could fit in there, and I'm just going to kind of go for it. All right. I have not planned this before, but close me in, Mike. Close me in. Huh, yeah, it totally works. It's weirdly comfortable in here. The little green thing, uh, let, me, uh, let me get out, that's good. While I was in there, I noticed there's also a drain plug, so if you use that for uh, tailgating or if you just have like a bunch of fish in there, you can just drain it right out. Five feet, four inches long, five feet wide, a lot of space to play with, an exceptionally practical truck design, as long as you're willing to embrace a new and innovative way of trucking. And Davis Adams from Honda points out the only thing I missed was the in-bed speaker system, which you will now tell me about, even though we have not planned this, tell me about the speaker system. Sure, so if you look in the, well, you can't actually see what's going on back there, but there are six exciters, which are essentially the magnets that go to speakers, mm -hmm. um, in the bed itself. So whether rain or shine, doesn't matter. You can listen to your music in the back when you are washing the truck, when you're tailgating your friends, you can fill it up with some ice and some sodas, and you have a 400 watt plug back there so you can plug a TV in, or you can put your blender back there, whatever you want to do. Um, but you have two speakers per wall of the actual truck that produces a lot of noise from the 500, or the 540 watt sound system. Our uh, Super Bowl party this year will be in the middle of nowhere, Davis Adams. So the 2017 Honda Ridgeline is filled with all sorts of Honda cleverness, the kind of thing you expect from Honda as a brand. It'll arrive in the first half of 2016, and it's a 2017 model. I sure can't wait to drive it. That and the Honda Jet. Honda, I'm a pilot. Hook a brother up.